There's two different sides to trading. Of course, there's the good, the money, the freedom, building a skill set that can change your life. But what you don't see a lot of the time is the bad, the losing days, the frustration, the self-doubt, and much, much more. I lost almost $9,000 today. And yes, I could have brushed this off. I could have not shown it. Of course, on this channel, I always show my losses. And in my opinion, we learn more from our losses than do our wins. So in this video, I want to go over the biggest problem traders have. Small wins and big losses and how to fix it. Yes, I lost almost $9,000 today. I'll be very transparent about that. I was live trading in my Discord, called out a bad trade. I lost money on it. It happens. On the bright side, I am up over $600,000 in 2023 with proof, with live login proof, and I aim to teach you how I'm able to do that, how I'm able to lose almost $9,000 in a day, keep composed, keep my P&L year-to-date very high, and some other tips and tricks to help you make more money day trading and in the stock market. So as always, my friends, if you like making money, if you enjoy transparent trading, and if you get some value from this video, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button in the bottom right corner. Comment what you wanna learn next below and let's get to the money together. And one last thing, as you see here, this is my year-to-date P&L, my loss for the day, and it says 567,809 for profit. Well, if you've been following me for a while, you know I got reset at 46,520. So that's why it only shows 567,000, which nonetheless, that's still you know amazing, amazing numbers for the month of May, beginning of May. Nonetheless, it is around $614,000 plus for the year. I'm very proud of that. It's, my, it's the best start to the year that I've ever had. I'm looking to keep the train going with small losses and big wins. Let's get right to it. Now, in today's lesson, we have three steps. So we're gonna go over some slides first, go over step one and step two. We're then going to bounce to the charts. I'm going to explain exactly where I went wrong, the trade that I lost almost $9,000 on. So hopefully you don't make the same mistake as I did. And then after the trade recap, we're going to go to step three, the final set of slides. And I hope through all of this, you learn something, you have a mindset shift, and overall, I hope it helps you make more money and trade more confidently. So step one, let's clear the air. I wanna go over some expectations, some problems with the industry, and the must-have mindset. Too many people come into the stock market thinking, okay, Jay Dunn's up 600,000 this year. This should be easy. I wanna make 100,000 a month. Who doesn't? I was the same as you in that ret retrospect, right? The reality is I have almost seven years of experience. I've gone through trials, tribulations, tons of failures, tens of thousands of dollars in courses to get to this point. So we have to keep expectations managed, okay? Trading is super effing hard. One of the hardest things you will ever do in your life. So. In order to get to that point where you are profitable, where you see the bigger numbers, it takes a lot of expectation management, a lot of grind, and a whole lot of focus. Number two, problems with the industry. Almost no gurus show their losses, right? You're not gonna find many gurus saying, hey, I called out a bad trade in my community and I lost a lot of money, here it is, right? And in reality, I think we need to change that. Because think about it like this. You are a learning beginner trader. Clearly, you're gonna have losses. So if you have some guru saying, hey guys, like, you know, I never lose. I'm Mr. Perfect, even though they can never prove that with numbers. What are you going to think? You're going to be like, damn, I'm down on myself. I must suck. You know, this, this isn't reality. Once I get to the top, it's going to be so easy, this and that. Like and the reality is that is not how it is, fam. That's not how it is. You got one person with a big following telling all of their followers and people that want to learn how easy it is, you know, how they're Mr. Perfect and they can't prove their profits and they can't show you how it really is to trade. They can't show you that you might have losses because it would hurt their program and hurt, hurt their sales. That's horseshit. So just remember that. It's a big problem with the industry. I hope we can change it here. Number three, the must-have mindset. I want you guys to embrace losing. On this channel, we're going to become the best losers possible. I don't care about your winners. Your winners could be, you know, $100,000 a day, but if you are a bad loser and you, you know, you make $100,000 four days in a row, and on the fifth day, you blow it, you go on tilt, and you lose five, six, seven hundred grand, congratulations. You are now in the red, likely for the month or the year. And you can upsize that, downsize it, you know, cut it however you want. And I'm sure a lot of you have been through that. It's time to change. So with that said, let's go on to step two. Now for step two, knowing your limits, situation, experience, and more. I put together three different questions down here. They're gonna pop up one, two, and three for you to think about before every trade. If you're on a losing streak, if you're looking to learn, or if you in general wanna learn how to trade the right way, okay? Number one, have you seen this before? How will you react if it goes wrong? 
In today's trade, as I'm going to show you in just a second, I knew what I was looking at. I've seen it happen before. But guess what? The probabilities in that time period I was looking at it seemed like it was in my favor. So I knew that, okay, I want this to happen. You know, I want to see that bigger move up. I want to see that bounce. If it doesn't work out, I know that I will stop out and I will be okay. I managed my loss in my head long before the loss became realized in my trading account. All right. Number two, what's the situation? What is the overall market sentiment? Now, I want you guys looking at the hourly chart, the four hour chart, the daily chart. Every time you take a trade, knowing where you are on the macro, okay, you want to increase your odds in any way that you can. The best way for you to become a profitable trader is going to be having the most confirmation you can for each individual trade. More on that later. And number three, are you mentally prepared for the trade slash if it goes wrong? I don't want you guys coming into the trading days. I think this is a big problem for a lot of people on a bad mental note. You got anxiety. You know, you're going through something with your boyfriend, girlfriend, right? You're depressed, whatever it is, like you got to take care of your mental first. So with that, if that trade starts going bad, you can cut it. For me today, if I wouldn't have cut that trade, I would have lost 20,000 plus dollars, 25,000 plus dollars. But you know what? I cut it. It was bigger loss than I would have you know, obviously wanted. But in reality, to my wins in my year to date PL, it was very, very small. And that's because I was in a good mental state. I was able to cut it, have no ego, and move forward. So with that, now let's go to the trade recap. I want to show you in real time what happened with the chart, where I went wrong, where I could have gone better, and hopefully give you some education to help you avoid what I did and not lose $9,000. Let's get to it. Now, today's loss hurt pretty bad for a few reasons. Number one, of course, I lost $9,000, all right? But number two, you see this big sell-off right here? I caught none of it. And you guys know if you've watched the channel for a while, I love trading the downside. I love trading puts. Have made hundreds of thousands of dollars this year trading puts. I caught none of it. Instead, I let bias get to my head and previous market action to try, allow me to try to take calls right in here, right in this area right here, which you can see from our five minute chart, we did have some confluence in here, right? We tried to have a little bounce back up, didn't work out for very long. I tried calls here, stopped on this way down around here. Now, before we get into the details of this and why I like this trade, let's talk about what could have been. If I would have, you know, had ego, if I would have said, you know what, I'm just gonna wait, I'm just gonna keep adding, you know what would have happened? Down, 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 down. These calls never came back to break even after this moved down, right? We just kept going down. So I saved myself a lot of money, all of this pain right here, by getting out, saying, you know what, I'm done. I was wrong. I was wrong in a trade. Is that so hard to say? To admit, in real time it can be, but it's part of the process. Now, looking at the previous days, okay? We'd been pretty damn strong, right? Had some selling uh, yesterday at close, but nonetheless, been in this uptrend up, uptrend up. So with that, we had the sell off here. I was looking for, we get on here to this 413 area right here. This resistance turned support to 412.7 for a bounce. Now we had that previous confluence here. Let's go over to our four hour here. Let's go over to that 413 uh, to 412.7 area. A lot of resistance turn back to support, right? Look decent. 412.7, we have touch here, touch here, touch here. Big rocket over. I figured we come down, see at least some sort of bounce up, and it would work out, right? That's kind of been the pattern in the last few days, the last while, as we've been, we've been bouncing these, these moves down, we've been bouncing them back up. Didn't work out for me. Now, looking back, I was looking at this on the five-minute chart before it happened, and I was watching right in here, right? I was looking at these candles right here. None of this looked bullish, okay? We we're lowering volume. Every move up was getting wicked back down. Very bearish candlestick right here in the five minute. We just slowly kept going lower. We came down here to like this 413.2. Tried a little bounce up. Let's go over here to the two minute chart just to verify so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, we went to 413 right here, right? This area right here made a move back up. Then we went back down. Seeing this, I should have evacuated that second. Okay, seeing these slow bounces back up, that lowering volume, all that, you know, shoulda, woulda, coulda, looking back was not a good trade. Now, what I am proud about is how I mitigated all of this extra downside. Now, if I would've just let that going, that left that going, that would've been a massive, massive loss. And thinking about it realistically, like, you know, a lot of times we will see that bounce come in, 
right? We will see that bounce come on in at that previous resistance, turn back to support on the four hour and the one hour. Didn't work out today. I let my bias get the best of me. You know what? I, I hope that you guys can hear this and learn from it and manage your risk better, you know, manage your trades better, you know, get one step closer to managing your ego and saying, you know what? I'm not going to win every trade. This is real trading. You're going to, you're going to get smacked in the face. You're going to get punched in the face. And when that happens, I need you to have a plan. So rough day for me. I missed a lot of opportunity to the downside. Typically, if we are having these big sell-offs, I like to, you know, buy puts on like a pullback or a pull up, I guess you could call it. I um, didn't really get that on this big move down. So for me, that was it. So now that we have that taken care of, step one and two taken care of, I want to go back to step three for you guys to finalize what we talked about and hopefully give you some confidence going into tomorrow's trading day. And finally, for step three, after each loss, evaluate and change the mindset. I have one, two, and three down here that I want to go over, give you guys some tips going forward, some of which we, ju we just did, and give you guys the right path forward to changing your trading. So number one, ask would this work seven out of 10 times, six out of 10 times. For me, I love the four hour and one hour. I've seen that setup work multiple, hundreds of different times in my life to the upside and the downside if you reverse, you know, if you reverse the charts. So for me, that works. It's going to happen sometimes. Do I wish I would have kept that loss a little smaller? Do I wish I would have cut it a little sooner? Do I wish that I would have evaluated the intraday chart more? Yes. But overall, you know, for that point in time, I thought it was the right move. I'll take it. Number two, review. Was I right or wrong in my thinking? What could have I done better? Every day after I take a trade, win or lose, I go over. Was I right or was I wrong? What did I see? And what was my rationale in taking that trade? Journaling. You have to keep yourself accountable, fam. It's so, 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 so damn important. If you don't keep yourself accountable, you will make the same mistake over and over and over again. I, I promise you. I promise you, fam. Number three, evaluate risk reward. Was it there? Will my execution last me for the long haul? So if I take a trade like that every day, if I lose like that for months straight, am I going to last in the long haul? No. So I have to evaluate that. Look at the risk reward. Look at what I did right. Look at what I did wrong and build on that. There's going to be losers. Okay. We're in an industry where the best loser wins. Don't let anyone fool you. Don't let them tell you to quit your job to trade. Don't let them tell you that it's easy. Don't let them tell you there's some secret strategy. It's all horse manure. Okay, so keep trading smart, trading safe, follow your damn game plan, and hopefully with the help of this YouTube channel, Team Bull, whatever other resources you use, hopefully you can turn your trading into a profitable journey. Over time, it takes a lot of work. It's really damn hard, but I hope this video is a step forward in the right direction. So I love you guys. Trade smart, trade safe. I will see you guys next time. Make sure that subscribe button if you want to learn more and let's get rich together. Love you guys. Peace.